All right, in the next experiment, I'm going to mess around with the, uh, the function generator on the road dashboard. So there's a lot, a lot of videos already out there. So what I wanted to do was to use the function generator and the oscilloscope to kind of generate a uh, boat plot. Now, a boat plot is uh, something that tells us the frequency response of a system. In this case, what I've done is I've used a simple resistor capacitor to form in a simple RC filter. This is a low pass filter. Uh, so with a fixed resistor value, I'm using two capacitor values that's 0 0.1 microfarad and 0 .0 0.01 microfarads um, interchangeably so what I theoretically the 0 0.01 microfarad should give me a 15.9 kilohertz or approximately 16 kilohertz bandwidth uh, and cutoff frequency sorry uh, and the 0 0.1 microfarad should have a relatively low cutoff frequency of 1.6 kilohertz approximately so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use the function generator to pull, put in uh, the uh, variable frequencies and uh, then uh, use uh, the capabilities of the room shorts to plot the data on and see if we can uh, kind of get an estimate of uh, uh, the cutoff frequency and the response of our little simple network. All right, so on the Roden Schwartz RTB2004, there is an inbuilt function generator uh, where I have the options for to generate a sweep. All right. So in addition to the uh, customary uh, function uh, function generator that can generate the DC sign sync uh, rectangular signal, let's just play with one of these. Uh, I've got the uh, output of the function generator directly connecting to uh, the channel number one. So hold on a second. Let's just say I'm going to sweep. So you can generate sign, sync, rectangular, pulse. You can, uh, this is, the pulse part is really beneficial if you want to do something with PWM, you're trying to measure, like I did an experiment with LED uh, and uh, pulse width modulation to control. Without actually using microcontroller, you can do that. So that function uh, is really cool. So triangular, ramp, we're going to mess with that a bit. Arbitrary, you can actually use a file to kind of uh, enter those. So I'm interested in the sign function right now. Uh, in addition to that, what I want to is to be able to vary the frequency of it. So I'm going to use the sweep function. Uh, I want to be able to sweep since I can go maximum up to, I'm expecting a cutoff of 15.9 or 16 kilohertz. I'm going to drop it at 20 kilohertz starting with 1 kilohertz. So if when, when I start to run it, uh, the sweep time can be changed by 5 seconds is good enough. So at 5 seconds, it will go from 1 hertz to 20 kilohertz in a logarithmic fashion, all right? So that is uh, more appropriate when, since I'm trying to do a something like a boat plot, which is already on a logarithmic scale. Uh, now, I really can use this, but I am going to uh, connect the output of uh, the input of channel 1 to my uh, RC network right here, all right? So there we go. <clears throat> So already you can see as the frequency increases, the amplitude goes down. Uh, this is not very useful for me because, well, it's not exactly how I visualized a boat plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the acquisition menu. Uh, there I have the capability to plot a roll plot. Uh, enabling that, what it allows me to do is kind of in, uh, plot uh, in a continuous time manner the amplitude of the signal. So I'm just going to scale it down to about one second per division so width of this thing is about one uh, second so you can now you can see the kind of roll off that we were expecting so um yes it it, it does have that board plot kind of shape all right so but it's uh, of course uh if i change the uh, uh sweep from 20 kilohertz to something like 50 kilohertz uh, now it begins begins to look a lot more like uh, the traditional boat plot that you're expecting right okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it right now and I'm going to change the value from 0 0.01 microfarad to 0 0.1 microfarad uh, instantaneously you can see that very sharp roll off so now it's about uh, from 15 to 16 kilohertz now it's jumped down to 1 kilohertz Changing the function generator, uh, sweep from 30 kilohertz all the way down to say 5 kilohertz. 
and there's the there's that shape back again right if I were to go back into the 20 the initial setting that I did there was about 16 right the 20 no oh, sorry 20 kilohertz and there we go so still I'm having a pretty sharp roll off I'm just gonna disconnect it and reconnect so this this is the 0.1 microfarad and this is the 0.01 microfarad so you can uh, already see that it kind of generates sort of like the boot plot that I expect now I can collect this data and I can use Microsoft Excel or some open alternative to plot those graphs uh, but that's basically how a, um, a function generator helps in uh, creating in analyzing a DUT and uh, combined with the oscilloscope itself, I think Keysight has that feature of boat plot inbuilt. I think the Roden Schwartz can uh, afford to add that feature as well. So, uh, or Roden Schwartz, if you're listening, that would be really appreciated. And since we're uh, working on the function generator, uh, I wanted to do one more thing. Uh, I am going to show you the modulation capability. So. It can modulate AM, FM, ASK, FSK. So <clears throat> I've got a one megahertz signal being modulated by 100 kilohertz. And uh, if I, so you can, you know, uh, generate all kinds of uh, signals here. Maybe you can generate uh, custom signals from a file as well. Just hold on a second. So uh, if you take a look at this, so there's the arbitrary expansion, exponential ramp, triangle, pulse, rectangle. So you can modulate those as well. So just doing a two a simple sign modulation. I'm just going to go into the FFT uh, now. There we go. All right. So center this around my one megahertz frequency. Uh, one megahertz. Okay whatever okay so <clears throat> uh, you can see I've got um, my one megahertz carrier frequency so that should be 100 mega one megahertz plus 100 kilohertz that's 1.1 megahertz down there uh, Delta F uh, about uh, oh, sorry channel off it should be about 100 kilohertz off and same goes for this overtone right there so that's the mixing and uh, you can really, uh, I mean, you can really relate those kind of things, and it's really easy to do once you have all of those capabilities. The uh, combining the uh, Fourier transform and uh, uh, you know modulation of, from the uh, um, pattern generator, and you know, all those capabilities can be com can come into really uh, come in really handy when you're trying to debug analog systems and so on and so forth. So even though the touch screen is a bit uh, uh, it, it requires a little more tweaking. The firmware for this thing requires a little more tweaking. Uh, I would really want somebody to uh, do something about this um, <clears throat> rotary encoder firmware. Whoever does this kind of, he needs to or she needs to kind of uh, look at what I, what they've done. It, it it's it, it works it skips and you know there's some problems with that but overall the uh, scope gets a uh, thumbs up from my side here